Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight he wears white and gold. His official weight, 174.8 pounds. His pro record stands at 32 victories. 25 by way of knockout, opposite three defeats. He is the NA. BA and ABO light heavyweight champion and your defending NABF light heavyweight champion from Houston, Texas. Here is Alfonso El Tigre And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He wears red, gold, and black. His official weight, an even 175 pounds. His professional record is perfect. At 40 and 0, 26 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former WBO super middleweight champion of the world. The WBC number one ranked super middleweight in the world. Here is the undefeated number one challenger from Mazatlan, Sinaloa, Mexico, Gilberto Zuldo Ramirez. Twelve rounds. Obey my commands. What's that? That's oh, tape. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Touch gloves. Let's go to work. Gilberto Ramirez on an elite list of boxers who have won their first 40 pro fights, which includes Floyd Mayweather Jr., George Foreman, Rocky Marciano, Julio Cesar Chavez, and Willie Pep. Alfonso Lopez has won 32 of his 35 pro bouts entering tonight. Make no mistake, a win versus Ramirez would be by far the biggest of his career. The bell in round number one. White trunks for the champion Alfonso Lopez. Black and red trunks with gold trim for Gilberto Ramirez. You mentioned uh, Lopez coming off 10 wins in a row. Uh, notably, he took Kelly Pavlik 10 rounds all the way back in 2011. So it just gives you some insight as to how long Lopez has been doing this at this high level. Lopez told me his jab is his key to victory, but right now it's Ramirez establishing a jab from range. Ramirez talked a lot in our fighter meeting about his defense. He said, I don't want to get into a war. I want to come to the inside smartly, slip, and then land big shots off of movement. Well, I think the move up in division is smart here. Look, this division is dominated by Mother Russia. Arthur Betterbiev, undefeated. Dmitry Bivol, undefeated. The only other undefeated fighter in the top ten in this division is now Zerto Ramirez. Lopez back against the ropes. Trying to move forward, moving to his right. I think another reason this division benefits Ramirez, I mean, look at Betterbiev, he's 35 years old. Look at Sergey Kovalev, he's 37 years old. There's going to be a turnover at the top soon. Constant one-twos from Ramirez. Very measured start for Lopez. And what we saw in the Jesse Hart fights from Ramirez is his ability to use both of his hands. Now, in the second fight, Hart was able to at least figure out a little bit how to score, but it's not going to be enough. I'm sure that El Tigre watched those fights. That was a good right hand from Alfonso Lopez. Draws a reaction from this Galveston crowd. Both fighters very much have their vocal, enthusiastic supporters. Two punches to the body from Ramirez. Yeah, that's usually Ramirez's MO. He starts early on the body like all good fighters do. As the hands come down, he then works his way up to the head. Ramirez standing tall, center of the ring. There's that snap right jab from the southpaw stance. Leading with the rear right uppercut. That was clever. Dipping okay. back on his shoulder and throwing that from the rear. Look how Ramirez then takes over the ring again. That interaction happened all the way to our left. Now they moved all the way across the ring back. Lopez staying on his bike here. Final minute, round number one. Three punch combination. Up and down the body goes Alberto Ramirez. I notice that Lopez is circling to his right. By doing that against the left, you're circling into the power hand. Lopez realized it and moved to his left. 
Lopez is a much higher power striking guard than that of Ramirez. Much more open, much more loose. Lands that right hand from Range. Big uppercut from Ramirez. Now the left hand to follow. We looked on the tail of the tape, we saw they were even in reach, but by looking at the fighters, it looks like Ramirez has the reach of that. Right hand from Lopez on the counter. Right back comes Ramirez in the pocket. The end of round number one. With Matt Strike, Gilberto Ramirez. Round number two. Again, Gerardo comes more than halfway across the ring to meet his opponent. We've seen that all night long. I mean, the fighter that controls the center of the ring, that takes the center of the ring, usually ends up winning. Snap right hand jab from Ramirez, landed flush. Lopez, his best sequence of the fight. Now to the body. Jane Eddy allowing right. these two fighters to go in this position. Now calls for the break. I think this is what Zerto wants. He wants Lopez to come forward throwing combinations because that's where Zerto seems to excel in these close quarter fighting type of situations. Three punch, then left to the body. Remember something, Sean. The move up in weight, tasting the power of your opponent, that's going to be interesting. When fighters change weight classes, not just in boxing, but in all combative sports, they always talk about what they gain. They never look at the flip side. The flip side in going from 168 to 175 is your opponents at this level are going to have a lot more punching power. But again, Ramirez feels that he will have gained punching power at light heavyweight from super middle, and he will retain his hand speed. Fast on the jab, there is Ramirez. And even if the punching power didn't come up to the division, his boxing acumen still makes Ramirez a very tough fighter to deal with. Make it on the right Bang. hand on the step in. There's the left hand from Ramirez. And it's the first time we've seen it thus far here tonight in this fight. Lopez showing a lot of patience. See the measure of the jab by Ramirez. No rush, no panic from Alfonso Lopez. Nice turn by Lopez. Back to the center of the ring. Lopez is really moving well. They got caught with a flash. Ramirez turning up the pressure here. Final minute of round number two. Big shots to the body, then the left hook to the head. Clubbing overhand right. Mm. Real redness on the face of Alfonso Lopez. The champion down here in round number two. Backed into the corner here, and now Ramirez is going to try to take advantage of what could be, a, it's going to be a 10-8 round. Those Ramirez, are pepper punches. Absolutely short peppering shots. Nothing peppering about that. Big right hand, firing back is Lopez. And that's what he has to do, come off of the ropes and fight hard. Lopez has to remember that he is the champion technically in this battle. There's the left hand, oh. and the right hand just Good before hand. the bell that ends. And again, the more rounds scheduled, assuming a fight does go the distance, the less impactful a 10-8 round is. But make no mistake, it's still impactful, especially the knockdown punch. And there's, of course, the psychological toll for both fighters, pro and con. So Lopez is falling into a little pitter patter groove with his footwork. You can see the two fighters just stepped on their feet. I have to believe that if I see it, Ramirez is going to see the timing as well. Ramirez the left to the body. Wide leg as well. He's trying to shut up, set up a power shot. Very wide open stance by Alberto Ramirez. Lopez now stepping into the pocket. Lopez working off of the jab, looking to dip. There's the level change right to the body, left to the head. A little interesting thing there. Gilberto could have gotten out of danger, but he went back to the position of danger. It's almost as if he wants to counter punch Lopez. Jane 80 allowing this to continue. Both fighters with their hands free. Good flurry from Lopez. Lopez smothering pressure, trying oh. to get inside the power lens. A big overhand left in this short check right hook. You know, we talk about the power moving up, but also having a bigger guy lean on you also takes out a lot of steam. Lopez knows this as he stalks. Ramirez trying to establish his range. Lands that overhand right that takes Lopez off his striking line. Big right hand from Ramirez. And now the switch is on as Ramirez has Lopez in the corner now. This range is exactly where 
Lopez Ooh. wants to be rather, rather where Ramirez wants to be, in the mid-range. And Ramirez goes for the uppercut, Lopez throws the straight right hand. And if that continues, he's going to neutralize Zerto's uppercut. Right jab again, the one-two. Firing back is Lopez in the pocket. Comes. And Lopez. comes El Tigre. putting Ramirez is back against the ropes. Real swelling under the left eye of Alfonso Lopez. Left hand gets through. Again to the clinch. Zerto content to fight off of the ropes. When I asked Ramirez in our nice. fighter meeting, we go. what does Lopez do well? He said he has an excellent clinch. We're seeing Lopez trying to use it, but now the turn, the separation, Ramirez again creating space. Big oh shot boy. that left rock Lopez. He's hurt. Lopez bouncing against the ring ropes. Right uppercut. That was another clever punch, almost a bungalow punch with the right hand. Now there's the difference in this division right there because it seemed to me that he had El Tigre hurt, but now El Tigre seems to be right back in this fight. And just as I say that, Zerto starts to unload. Here comes Lopez, though. Overhand right just misses the mark. Chant of Tigre in favor of Alfonso Lopez. Good combinations there. Big shots, though, for Zerto. Roberto Ramirez. Zerto pulled back that left. He was about to throw it and pulled it back, Sean. He just took a big deep breath. Now Ramirez's mouth is agape as well. Triple jab, then the flurry to start round number four for Alberto Ramirez. Lopez's corner yelling, keep it tight, meaning get to the inside, get underneath and inside of that power. So there's a timing thing. It seems Zerto rolls his hand slightly before right he hand. fires off. Zerto's getting through with that power right. Real swelling under the left eye of Alfonso Lopez. Well, all that's coming from the right hand. And it's interesting because most times when you prepare for a southpaw, you're concerned with the left hand, but we've been saying it all night. Zerto is equally as effective with both hands. Ooh, nice. from Lopez. Eats that counter left from Ramirez with his back against the ropes. Right hand gets through from Lopez. Step in right hand from Alfonso Lopez, and then immediately the clinch. Yeah, it's that close quarter combination that's working for Lopez, and then the clinch, as you mentioned. Scoring and then muting. You see leading heavy with his shoulder yep. is Lopez. Yep. That is a smart, professional, high-level move. Of course, especially knowing your opponent has moved up in weight. Make it difficult for him. Ramirez tried to turn, Lopez not having any of it. Now back to the center of the ring. And again, you Ooh. see this range. This is the desired range from Ramirez. Long, straight punches, but in the mid-range, not the outside so he can land the uppercut. Step in with the left and the right from Lopez. You know, uh, Ramirez has 26 knockouts, but none of them, of course, uh, in this division. And it begins to beg the question if the punching power has been somewhat negated. Good left hand from Ramirez on the inside. It's going to be cumulative for Zerto here, and he needs to land those power shots, and he needs to land them in bunches, because El Tigre is taking the fight now to Zerto. The turn from Ramirez. Sean, this is supposed to be Zerto's fight to win. Left hand, mm. left hook to the body from Ramirez. And that's funny. That's interesting because Zerto seemed to abandon the body attack that he had done so well in rounds one and two. Perhaps he goes back to it here. Working off the jab, there's the stepping, clubbing right from Lopez. There's that right uppercut again from Ramirez, opening his shoulders, opening bang, his body. Now the left hand. Big sequence from Alberto Ramirez. All the things that are doing damage are coming in combinations from Ramirez. And just as I say that, Lopez lands a combination of his own. And now Lopez is the front-footed fighter. Straight left cross, naked without the jab to set it up from Ramirez. That caught out Alfonso Lopez. Did Ooh. not anticipate that punch. Another step in right Spun. hand from Ramirez. Great round. round two. Four rounds. See the immediate turn from Ramirez. Stepping in, then turning Lopez. That is by design. One, one, two. 
Straight right cross from Lopez on the counter. Ramirez on the level change to the body. Return to the inside. Zerto, as true to form, remains busy. More big shots on the inside. There's a clubbing short right hand from Ramirez. Lopez firing back with the right of his own. It's a good three-punch combination that ended with the right hook, but Lopez seemed to shake it right off. Matt, this is developing into a fight of ranges. Ramirez trying to stay in that mid-range. Lopez trying to solve that reach and get to the inside. That's where he's done his best work in this fight. Long straight punches continue to be thrown by Roberto Ramirez. So Lopez is trying to time the right cross. You can see it, it's obvious. Right hand from Ramirez. There's the left hand. Then that was clever, leading again with the right uppercut. Ramirez throwing that uppercut almost in a switch of stances. So lead punch from the southpaw stance, but he turns his body almost to throw it as the rear right uppercut. He's done that since round one. Chopping the left fist, almost a hammer fist there. And now Ramirez spins it around. Referee will get in there and break him up. Warning on the shoulder. Conor McGregor threw a hammer fist against Floyd Mayweather Jr., but not a legal <laughs> punch in professional no. boxing. Short oh. step in left hand. That, that seemed to catch right Lopez on the armpit, and that hurts. Oof. Lopez turned from that right hand. Throws the lead left hook to the right hand. Sean, Lopez has not been busy this round at all. He picked a bad round to take off because Zerto has been very, very busy. Final minute, round number five. Nice. Big left and the right. Yep. Another right hand. He came off a of feint and a pause by Lopez. Ramirez stepping into these punches to get maximum power. We are watching a world-class fighter here in Zerto Ramirez moving up in weight but still bringing the sweet science, the boxing acumen to the game. Lopez back against the ropes, eating those shots. Mm. Good straight left. Head, body, body, head. Good left hand. Bang, bang. More big shots. These punches starting to accumulate here in round number five. Lopez playing a lot of defense here in the fifth Good round. uppercut caught Lopez coming in. And as Lopez plays defense, this is heavy offense, heavy volume with power for Alberto Ramirez. You know, Zerto is a pleasure to watch just from a boxing standpoint. Not a punching standpoint, a boxing standpoint. He got clipped at the end of the round there. That is the end of round five. I think Ramirez definitely was busy in that round. Alfonso Lopez trying to make the first successful defense of his NABF light heavyweight title. He's truly one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Alberto Ramirez in his second fight at 175 pounds. Ramirez not just looking for the win, looking for the statement win. Good left hand. Not looking past this fight, but Ramirez told me. A win in this bout, I'm ready for a world title shot. I mean, ahead of him in the rankings, I think, is Joe Smith Jr. I honestly think that if Ramirez gets through Joe Smith Jr., then there definitely is a, a title fight with one of the undefeated. That was a big right to the body. Another left hand. So starting to turn into a fight of attrition in favor of Gilberto Ramirez. Seeing the volume, you're seeing the power and the dictation of movement. He said an important word there, the volume. And, and, and as he continues, he being Zerto, continues to come forward, it's that compounded damage that is certainly going to benefit. Nice overhand left. Lopez now switching Again. stances in the corner to the inside. Now switching back from southpaw to orthodox to the right-handed stance. Interesting switch of stances, big right hand, and it's again on the step-in entry. Left, right to the body. Duck under from Ramirez. Eating that left hand is Lopez as he comes forward. And Ramirez has Lopez's timing down. Ramirez living in that mid-range. From this mid-range, he can do that. Land the straight punches, but also land that right uppercut, which he has done effectively throughout this fight. Another step in right hand. It was great the way there. Zerto just angled off the ring. And nicely done by Lopez to spin Lever it around. turn from Alfonso Lopez. Left to the body from Ramirez. Oh. 
Final minute now, round number six. Left hand to Lopez is low. Four punch combination from Ramirez. Lopez on the inside lands that left. Ramirez missing with the left. Smiles on his miss, on the recognition. Doubling on the right hand is Lopez. Another fully landing. You know, the 12 rounds and the moving up in weight, we haven't really discussed the conditioning. You know, what's that going to do to Zerto? He seems to be on his toes and fighting well, but again, now we move into uncharted territory. Another right hand on the step in from Ramirez. Alfonso Lopez, to his credit, continues to come forward, trying to solve that distance. Solving it there with the punches, the flurry led by the right hand. Closing stages, round number six. Another right hand from Alberto Ramirez. This is a six-punch combination. And we are to the halfway line of this fight. In half of our main event, we go round number seven. To bring up on the right hand. You can see Lopez. Looking for a way to get to the inside. There's straight punches again from Ramirez. Snap jab. Great cut off of the ring there by Zerto. Again, he just continues to put Lopez where he wants him to be. This is forward stalking pressure. Lopez said, I cannot allow Ramirez to control the tempo, but that's exactly what is happening right now. Yeah, and Lopez just needs to come forward, and we talked about it while the, the, tell, the tape says that they have the same reach. That doesn't look like the fight I'm watching. It looks like Ramirez is comfortable, comfortable fighting from his left. It was a good left hand on the entry for Lopez. Lopez trying desperately, as you see, to get into the pocket. Now this is where Alfonso Lopez wants to be. Yes. Inside the power of Ramirez. Good bit of refereeing from Jay Nady, allowing this fight to continue. Not calling for the break, just moving the hand away on the hold. That was to the benefit of Lopez. Staying to the inside, now a level change. Alfonso Lopez to the body. A little errant elbow to the face there. Much better round for the champion, Alfonso Lopez, here in round number seven. Inside the power, another short right hand from Lopez. You can see Lopez is trying to strip Ramirez's hands down and then throw. It's, it's an old trick, but if it works, why not? See, maybe coming in there saying, watch the elbows. Left to the body, counter right to the head from Lopez. Uppercut to the body with the left hand from Alberto Ramirez. Another warning for holding to Ramirez from Jay Nady. Oh, big punch with the right hand, another right, counter left hand, out of the body goes Lopez. Back and forth we go in this seventh round exchange, final minute of round seven. Lopez again to the body, putting Ramirez's back against the ropes. Lopez steps and then dips his shoulder, he's been doing it now three, four times. Oh, straight right hand, those long effective punches from Ramirez. With the right hand, there's a good snap right hand from Lopez. How to do it to get out of there. Can you see the forward stalking pressure from the southpaw stance of Ramirez? Four punch combination that time from Ramirez. Lopez missing with the right hand. Right to the left on the uppercut from Lopez. Ramirez fires back. That is the end of round seven. To see how this move up in weight class affects her. Indeed, to the business end of our main event, round number eight. There is right back to the jab from the southpaw stance. There's a good hard right hand off the jab and the lead right hook. Both guys seem to have strong legs still, and that's an important assessment at this point. Lopez down, of course, in round number one, but it was a flash knockdown. 
He smiled in recognition that he was caught. Drop but not hurt. He's not shown any ill effects of that knockdown in this fight. He's shown ill effects, though, from those long straight punches from the mid-range of Alberto Ramirez. That, for me right now, Matt, is absolutely the difference in this fight. Lopez trying to stay tenacious on the inside. Chopping left hand there. You know, there is a ferocity in Zerto that, that we've yet to see, and I, I'm wondering if he's saving it. Incidental shoulder strike, no warning from Jay Nady. We fight on. See what Zerto does there? He extends his arm and he bends it slightly. That does not allow Lopez to clinch. Those are big shots on the flurry. Lopez exits with the right hand. Lopez to the oh, inside. Oh, good combination. Lopez now coming on. Lopez, a heavy Another pressure, one. sitting chest to chest. Now stepping, switches. switching stances. Largely, Lopez has been fighting orthodox, but he has had those southpaw switches in the pocket. You just saw one there and right back. Now back comes Alberto oh, Ramirez. Oh, big uppercut rocks Lopez's head. With the left hand. Final minute round number eight. The feint from Ramirez. Getting the walk down pressure. Lopez mm -hmm. on his bike. Eats that Good one uppercut too. again. Stiff right hand rocks the head back of Lopez. Oh. Zerto starting to plant his feet more when he throws. Ever so slightly, Alberto Ramirez turning up the pressure, turning up the temperature here in round eight. A slow burn, if you will. Mm. Left to the body. Punches to the head again. Body, head, head, body throughout this fight and the attack for Alberto Ramirez. Holding the back of the head is Lopez. Big There's a short right hand. hand right to the body on the uppercut from Ramirez. Lopez on the overhand right just before the bell. We move to round nine. You know, it seemed to me, again, you know, when the bell rings, it's a totally different story. You know, Lopez, 38 years old, very experienced, had a plan. But listen, a lot of times you change that plan depending on what you're doing. Well, Lopez has done his best work is on the inside. But it's been so difficult to get through those straight punches, that right uppercut in the mid-range of Ramirez. In the mid-range now, Ramirez sits, throwing those straight punches, doubling up with the right jab. You see this forward stalking pressure from Alberto Ramirez. Lopez circling out, but again being walked down. There's the right hand, the left to the body. It's all about range here for Zerto. He found it early on, and he's maintained it throughout. Straight right hand. Some oh. Very clever combination. Four punch there and then the right hand from Ramirez. Short left hand on the step in. Left uppercut. Ramirez has been throwing that right uppercut through the left uppercut there. Forward comes Lopez. There. So much fight in the champion. Alfonso Lopez tenaciously moving forward, but he is continuing to take big shots. That right hand to the head. Zerto is scoring at will here. He's baiting Lopez in. This is a very animated Galveston, Texas crowd. Again, both fighters have their vocal supporters. Right hand. Oh. Lopez is complaining about you know, rabbit punch. Another big combination. Right hand getting through again from Ramirez. Body work and a push off with the elbow by Lopez. Lopez getting to the inside but not throwing. That's a great point. Mm. The volume continuing to be in strong favor of Ramirez. Quick separation and a rare separation from Jay Nady. This fight has been flowing. On the feint. Now to the head back to the body. There's that right uppercut in the left cross. Look how patient Ramirez is. Short right hand from Ramirez. Doesn't waste any punches. Lopez again playing a lot of defense. Back against the corner cushion, now against the ropes. 
See Lopez fainting, waiting, looking for the counter, can't find it. This is with that right hand. Zerto was smart enough not to engage there. Right to the body from Ramirez. Mm. Lopez takes that oh, he's hurt. Lopez now back against the ropes. Ramirez stepping forward once more. Final oh. seconds, round number nine. Lopez not firing back in, the, in return. Now throws the left hand right in. Oh. Got with the left hand by Ramirez. And that is staggered. You know, we've been talking about it. About Time called by Jane 80. Just waiting for the seconds to get out of the ring. I don't have an issue with uh, the seconds getting out of the ring. And now the doctor's going to check. It's that left eye, we noted the swelling in round number two. I think I get this round in. Okay. Okay. Lopez wants to continue. The Texas ringside physician agrees. Round number 10. Oh, big straight left hand from Zerto. Huge on the right uppercut. That has been a really significant punch throughout this fight. Firing back with the left hand is Lopez. Lopez now turning up the pressure here in round number 10. There's something called the champion's heart, and Arturo Lopez, Alfonso Lopez, is showing it right here as he begins to push Zerto back now. Lopez with the right hand. Explosion now from this Galveston, Texas crowd. Both fires to the center of the ring. The push off from Lopez. Big left uppercut. uppercut. Backing him up. Straight left hand. Oh, the oh. right hand, another left hand. The combinations are coming off of the hook and they're coming off of the left cross. Zerto is right here. Big right hand. You may have a broken leg there as well. Lopez. Lopez's corner is stopping this fight. That is it. 41 and 0. And Alberto Ramirez is the new NABF fight heavyweight champion. And I was reminded of, uh, remember Marlon Starling and Tomas Malinares? There was a punch at the bell, a broken leg. It, that was very, very scary there, but it was the corner that jumped in. They felt that El Tigre was taking a lot of damage, Sean. Let's take a look here. He's clubbing blows, and I thought Lopez was starting to come on here. We're getting exciting, but that right there, he didn't even see it coming, but he looked like he was smiling on the way down as to say, I got caught. I think that if the corner did not step in, Lopez would have continued this fight. The Alfonso Lopez corner, just to the left of our commentary position ringside, there was huge distress. Yes throughout round number 10 in that Lopez corner and as soon as Lopez was dropped by Ramirez, all three cornermen jumped up running to the ring apron. They wanted to get Lopez out of this fight. I'm a huge believer that your corner is a professional fighter. They have to be your biggest advocates and they were the biggest advocates for Alfonso Lopez. They knew that he was clearly losing this fight. He is a phenomenal fighter, a phenomenal champion, and they felt that he had had enough with that second knockdown of the bout. He also did take into consideration the fighter's age. He's 38 years old. There's got to come a point where you have to uh, be smart. You know, ego and pride collide with judgment sometimes, so you make a great point about that. It was a tremendous fight, a tremendous main event. It's exactly what we expected. We learned a lot about Gilberto Ramirez, where he goes next. That is the big question. Alberto Ramirez, 41 and 0, and now 2 and 0 at 175 pounds. <laughs> One of the most eagerly anticipated bouts of 2020. Alfonso Lopez quitting himself very well as the champion. Just could not deal with the punching power in the mid-range of Gilberto Ramirez, who stands truly as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Here's Jeff Houston. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Jay Navy, steps in and calls a stop to our main event at 59 seconds into round number 10 for your winner by TKO and new NABF light heavyweight champion, Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez. Jay Nady presents Gilberto Ramirez with the NABF light heavyweight title. You see the celebration for Ramirez. All class and defeat for Alfonso Lopez. Lopez down as he was flashed by Ramirez in round number one. And then down with authority, collapsing back on his legs in round number 10. His three cornermen running to the ring apron to get him out of the fight. Jay Nady bringing this fight to an end. 59 seconds into round number 10. Nice moment between these two great fighters. I started in all of this fun as a professional.